Valentine's Day requires a very special, thoughtful meal. And I usually like to make something that seems very decadent, but it's gotta be easy. Because on Valentine's Day, you don't want to spend hours in the kitchen. Well, maybe you do. I would be one of those people, but this time, not so much. So I'm going to make a very simple prosciutto wrapped pork loin. And I'm going to use store-bought pesto to expedite the whole process. And it's totally fine. You can make your own pesto or use store-bought pesto. And what you want to do with your prosciutto, you want to lay overlapping strips. My prosciutto is not quite cooperating fully, but that's okay. You'll be able to kind of finagle it at the end. I'm making overlapping strips that I'm going to be able to place my pork loin on top and then put a little pesto on top and wrap it up very nicely. You see how thin the prosciutto is, but those strips are just perfect. This is gonna be great. All right, then I have my pork loin. This is a small one, a pound and a half, because Tim and I don't need a whole lot between us. And I'm going to lay it right in the center of my prosciutto and then I'm going to take my store-bought pesto. This is the Genovese style. You'll see it's a little bit runnier. And just put it over that pork loin and that's gonna give it so much flavor. And then I almost forgot that I need some salt, even though the prosciutto can be a little salty, so caution with that. And then also pepper. All right. Then all I wanna do is just roll this up Roll, 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 carefully. And I did this on parchment paper because seam side down. You wanna make sure the seam side is down. I've got a little bit of that <laughs> pesto leaking out. I'm just gonna rub it over the top. Then I just take this whole loin and I'm going to transfer it to a baking sheet. And having it on parchment paper makes it super easy. Set it like so. That is lovely. And then it goes into my 425 oven for about a half an hour. If you haven't yet, take a minute to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that bell icon below so that you get all the latest notifications from us. Look at this beauty. Would you not want this for your Valentine feast? So this is how I like to serve this and we're making it super simple so you don't have a lot of effort your direction on Valentine's Day. I've taken this out and I've let it rest for 10 minutes just so that all those juices go back into the pork. And I kind of want to slice it carefully on the diagonal. The pork should register at least 120. I like mine a little bit more done than that, so I'm at about 130. Oh, wow. And I have a bed of arugula, and to make it really easy on myself, I have balsamic glaze going over my bed of arugula, and then this beautiful piece of pork right over top that is so gorgeous. And then a little bit more balsamic glaze right over the pork. And that acidity of the balsamic glaze just really helps to cut the richness of the pork. And all the juices, if you have juices that came out of the pork, and usually is from the pesto, save those and just drizzle a little bit over because that is super flavorful stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. All right, I have to try just a little bit here. Mm. Oh. Mm. But I'm telling you, the bitter green of the arugula works so well with the salty prosciutto and that rich pork and that balsamic glaze drizzled over it. It is fabulous, guys. You've got to give this one a try.
Check out this recipe, it's on tk30.com. Sign up with your email so that you get all the latest from us.